discovery of electron. In mid-1850s, many scientists began to study electrical discharge in partially evacuated tubes known as cathode ray discharge tubes. Let's have a look at the experiment. A cathode ray discharge tube made of glass is taken with two electrodes. At very low pressure and high voltage, current starts flowing through a stream of particles moving in the tube from cathode to anode. These rays were called cathode rays. When perforated anode was taken, the cathode ray struck the other end of the glass tube at the fluorescent coating and a bright spot on the coating was developed. The results of this experiment are briefed as Cathode rays consist of negatively charged electrons. Cathode rays themselves are not visible, but their behavior can be observed with the help of fluorescent and phosphorescent materials. In the absence of electrical or magnetic field, the cathode rays travel in straight lines. In the presence of electrical or magnetic field, the behavior of cathode rays is similar to that shown by the electrons. The characteristics of cathode rays do not depend upon the material of the electrodes and the nature of the gas present in the cathode ray tube.